How's it going everybody and thank you for joining me on Out of the Bow Throws for Scatterbrain Saturday. Uh, keeping with the theme of last week's uh, edition with being broken board, I thought it'd be time to finally put this thing together. My mother actually purchased this for my son not too long ago. Uh, so I thought now that we have some extra room in the living room, we might be able to put it together uh, and have something to do every time we're a little bit bored just to pass the time. So it's like a three-in-one, different kind of sports games, kind of like carnival style. Um, so it's got like a basketball game, football, and a baseball game. So we're going to go ahead and break this box open, uh, start putting it together, and see how it comes out. Okay, so we've gone ahead and opened the box here. Uh, we have everything laid out so I can see it properly. Uh, came with uh, LED scorekeeper, backboard to hold the scorekeeper. Looks like different ball setups here and then the return. The hoops here and then a couple of disinflated balls. Um, we'll go ahead and set all that up. And then most importantly is the instruction booklet. I went ahead and read through this a little bit. It looks a little bit awkward to put together just because the way you kind of have to set everything up, but it doesn't look too bad. Most of the pieces are kind of going to just pop together with the little push retaining clips that pop back out in the little holes in all of them. And then there's a few screws just to attach everything finally. Uh, I do recommend that you actually go ahead and read through and at least read through beforehand what it is you're going to be doing with any project that you're setting up and then as well uh, make sure you're reading it throughout so you do it properly and then one piece of advice i've always learned is, is or that i was told is don't tighten everything until you're finished so make sure it's kind of loose a little bit so you can move your things uh, and slide things a little bit and fit pieces in better so we're going to go ahead and get started on that and start putting this together so we'll start with just the first section here, which looks like we're going to go ahead and be grabbing the number two pieces, which are labeled as well. So there's two of them, so that it's asking for. And then it's asking for the number three. And the number four. There's the four right there. <clears throat> so we're gonna put a two and a three together with a three on the bottom. And that just pushes together. You push the pin right in here and it's ready to go. Set that on the side. And then it's asking for a two and a four. And you just push the clip in and then it's asking for seven and eight to be put together which is here's an eight and here's a seven and it looks like the eight is on the bottom and the sevens on the top And then in the next section, it's asking for five and six to be put together, which look like L brackets. Here's... So this is number six, and five is probably the one behind me, not quite. Here's the number five, so we'll snap these two together. Okay, and then in the next section, I'm going to need to be screwing some pieces together. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here and then get that set up. Okay, so we've got everything set up and laid out here for the next section. It's a good thing I double checked the instructions uh, because it did ask for two of these seven and eights to be put together, not just one. And so <clears throat> I went ahead and laid everything out so it, it would be easier to put together because it does need you to stand these up 
and then screw in this piece here into the lower section of it. So we'll go ahead and get started here with the two and the three. And everything's pretty much labeled in this like pod pack here, so it makes it pretty easy to do. <clears throat> so I want some washer in between. Someone did the wrong one. <clears throat> and that's actually for this. Okay, so that's the two side supports there. Now I'll go ahead and attach the center post here. Okay, so once these on the top one, We will grab those later. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this other side the same as I did to this, and then I'll go ahead and get back with you guys. Okay, so before I get into the next section here, just a real quick tip. Make sure not only do you read the instructions, you actually understand what they're saying. Um, on this part, I was supposed to put the 
seven and eight section here on the outside, not the inside. And then also all of the heads of the bolts should have been on the outside and the nuts on the inside. So I had to change that on all of them before I go on to the next section. Uh, so the next part here is asking for the support between the two, which is number 13 to be screwed in. And that's going to go through the holes I originally put the first part in. And this again goes on the outside of the whole thing. Okay, and then it wants both of these ones going on the top. Looks like it wants the closed end out here. That only makes sense. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and then it wants these nines down here towards the end. with the double holes in here. And this comes with like a little cotter pin so it can lock in place. And then you have to also, it wants these little cloth straps on the top. Then it wants these number 10s to connect to the end. I'm going to have to back this up. And then this last number 11 section is going to go over here on the bottom. Looks like there's really only one way to put this on as well. And 
then through this section here where the nines went, it does want a screw behind where the cotter pin was put in place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double check everything, make sure it's all secure before moving on to the next section. Okay, so we went ahead and double checked everything over on the original framing. Uh, looks like all the screws are in the right place and everything's through the right holes that it should be. The next section calls to put the backboard together. So we've got the hoop here, the netting, all the screws. This is a backing plate to go on the back side of the hoop. Uh, the LED screen um, and a couple of more little labels and the scorekeeping little inputs here. So it's got all the holes cut out so you can run the cables right through here. Go ahead and set up all the screws here. This is going to be a little bit difficult to do one-handed, or just by myself, not one-handed. I don't know where my other hand went. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this mounted up, just the hoops. Uh, this section is going to end up going underneath it with its own screws. So as soon as I get the hoops on here, we'll go ahead and upload the next part. Okay, so we got the hoops on here. I went ahead and just attached the little score keepers too. Uh, it took the exact same screws as the one above it. The next part here is actually to put in the LED screens and then put the netting on right here. So those parts seem fairly simple. You just need to go ahead and loop this on through these little loops here.
So this net doesn't actually seem to go all the way around like it would on a regular basketball hoop. It's kind of just there to give you the idea that it's netted. All right, so now we'll go ahead and tap the LED screen here. Okay, this one actually was the only part of the whole project where you needed your own tool, so you needed to have a Phillips for it. The rest of it came with the Allen keys and everything inside the little pod there. Just from putting this together right now, it seems like it would have made more sense to attach this before putting the hoops on, because then you could have laid it flat on like a table, because this is a little bit difficult to do with it standing up right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish attaching this and then I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so now that we've finished the backboard, we're going to go ahead and put the ball return netting and everything up and then we'll actually fix the backboard to this. So it asks for these larger parts of the nets to slide over the number one section here. And then when you actually put the backboard on, it wants this tab to go ahead and go behind the bolt so that it secures it a little bit better. I think this is actually supposed to slide through it as well. Let me try that. There we go. Go ahead and do that to both sides here. Go ahead and fix this one, these little Velcro straps to it. And it asks for these ones to go from underneath it over in order to attach. And I'm just trying to make these as even as possible. Okay, then it asks for this last support bar, number 12, to actually slide through here and then get fixed to the front of the frame.
So I'll go ahead and finish all this up, make sure this gets Velcroed, and then we'll fix the backboard and finish the score uh, system. Okay, so we have the backstop up here already with the LCD screen and everything ready to go. Um, next, I went in and tightened all the screws and everything already too, because this is pretty much the last few steps that we have is just to attach the on off buttons and reset control here, as well as install the baseball and football uh, screen on the very bottom. So I'll go ahead and attach this first because this doesn't have anything to do with the point system. It doesn't look like it really keeps track anywhere with these ones. And in order to fold this up, you just go ahead and remove the pins from the bottom down here where the other bolt was. And then you can reset those pins so it locks in place. And then at the very bottom, there's these little uh, stiff kind of ratchet strap cloth hooks here in order to little loop so you can put the hooks through. There's these little hooks here on the ends of everything with elastic on them. So you just go ahead and put those right through those loops. So with the system here, it looks like there's a football guy over on both sides and then a catcher here in the center. And then it's just got netting so it'll catch the balls. And then we'll go ahead and just attach this to the bottom using a Phillips head screwdriver again. So these will go right through the bottom. Alright, so that was simple enough to just go ahead and screw onto the front here. And so you will go ahead and just run this cable. And they actually do have loops over on the right hand side of the netting in order to run this through to kind of keep it all clean and everything. So it's not just laying on the floor. And at the end of this, it's just like a little Cat 6 or a telephone cord end from a landline. I don't know if anybody knows what those are. And then these will just connect in the back with that little telephone cord as long as, as well as with the little scorekeepers here.
Okay, so now that that's all attached, uh, it does look like it's turned on already here. There are these Velcro straps to keep just this front end of the cable clean here. So I'm gonna put those on. Okay, so we did already blow up the balls beforehand. Um, and that's pretty much it. It all seems like it's ready to go. And that was the uh, three-in-one ball game build. So I hope uh, you guys get something like this. So maybe you guys could pass the time when you don't know what to do. All right, have a good one.